Well, hello there. Monday morning. No, not Monday morning. Monday, it's afternoon now. So, how low can Voxter go? I don't have any clue. I don't have any clue. Um, I wish I could answer this question for you. But it's like asking me... If I ask you a question... How little are you willing to accept for $20 billion worth of value, potential value? How low are you going to sell it for? Uh, a billion? $100 million? $10? $100? I don't know, right? This is absolutely outside of my control. I don't know how to operate in an environment like this. Uh, especially when this is the same Mr. Market that was buying worthless crypto and companies that had no chance of ever making it. It's the same market, right? So if you ask me, if you're asking me the same question, it's asking me a question of how much are people, how much is the market willing to pay for worthless things during the, during the happy days of crypto? And how can I answer this? How can I answer and tell you, you know what? This XYZ crypto, the market is gonna pay, uh, you know, $5 or $10 for each worthless piece of shit you know like this is now we're completely opposite i have absolutely no idea uh on a, uh, like with, with oracle for example i have no idea i had no idea that the stock you know was going to bottom bottom like assuming it bottomed in in the low 60s right during the day it even reached, I think it reached like 59, 59 Canadian. I had no idea that was the bottom. Like how, how, how much value, because price is what you pay, value is what you get. So if you, if you reverse this is price is when you're selling, price is what you get and then value is what you give up, right? Uh, so I had no idea like if if let's say if let's say the thesis on oracle is let's just say it's gonna get bought out for five bucks this is what you think okay it doesn't matter if it's us or canadian it doesn't matter um but let's just say this is what's gonna happen and this is what you think this is what your calculation is telling you okay how how low is the market going to sell five dollars worth of value is is the market gonna stop at a dollar well obviously it didn't right it didn't because it, it it was willing to sell it for 90 cents 80 cents 70 cents 60 cents and even 59 cents and i'm talking canadian and 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 that that's when it was to stop i had no idea no technical analysis could have told you no no macro could have told you nobody could have told you that this was going to be uh the lowest that the market was going to accept and today the market is willing to accept you know uh is willing to take dollar dollar ten worth of uh worth of money for uh and is giving up let's say five dollars worth of value right that that's what it is today uh so I really can't tell you in this environment with Voxter, what is that price with Voxter? Because every single day, it seems like the sellers just have unlimited amount of shares. It's, it's unreal. It's unreal where the shares are coming from. There's nothing coming out from the company, right? They, they didn't even report. It, it's just the same thing. Like every day, boom, 300,000 shares wants to be sold. The next day, 300,000 shares wants to be sold. So. Like, I, I can't tell you when, when it's gonna, and, and I'm not really trying to because I know my limitations, right? If I am dealing 
with the market that like i said before think about this again what what this whole thing with crypto is happening right now people were buying crypto well first of all because they wanted to like the smart people told them well you gotta have you know a certain percentage of, of your portfolio in crypto like really really so it's like let's say i have a refrigerator full of food and i have to have a certain percentage of my food in shit in like human shit in the refrigerator no i'm not gonna eat shit like i'm gonna eat vegetables i'm gonna eat meat i i don't need turds or poop in my refrigerator like i don't need it okay so that's how i that's how i always viewed crypto no i don't need to have any percentage of my portfolio in worthless things i i just don't okay i would prefer to have it in things that have utility things that you know have value but no no this is not what the market wanted right the market was like oh you know we're buying crypto what did they say to protect ourselves against inflation like i bought a house in 2014 okay 440,000 something like that right now zillow is telling me it's worth like 2 260 right that's protection against inflation you buy something useful and why is why is the house why is my house went up in in value so much well because it has value right people want to live somewhere they they don't want to be outside it's freaking cold here right so they need a place to stay right also my area i mean i don't even i i think we have population growth I'm, i mean people are banging each other so you know uh, more more babies are being born every day so so you know so that so, so people need housing and then uh the federal reserve printed all this money created all, all this inflation so you have all the wood everything more expensive to to build new homes that's protecting yourself against inflation buying something buying something like a house buying a business that's you know useful and it's going to be useful uh theoretically okay let's say you don't have price quote every day that's that's protection against inflation but no what do they do they wanted to protect themselves against money losing value so that the money doesn't become worthless by buying things that is already worthless and now the inflation happened right your money buys you less and then those things most of those things went to the price that they should be which is zero right or or they went down a lot to their intrinsic value which is pretty much zero right and this is how they protect themselves against inflation now this is the same market this is the same freaking market okay that that bought crypto or nfts nfts right a picture of a fucking monkey a picture of a fucking monkey for a million dollars or whatever the fuck they came up with why oh because i heard it's a fucking status symbol a monkey is a fucking status symbol seriously like what the f what kind of world do we fucking live in okay so so they bought a fucking monkey okay so that they can in nft so that they can have a status symbol okay that thing collapsed right then they bought what what else did they buy shit like shift technologies that meet kevin was peddling uh tattooed chef like those companies have zero fucking chance of surviving zero zero okay ponzi scheme ponzi sector as copy called it ponzi sector has no chance of survival doesn't have a business model it's going to zero that's what they bought this is the market right and now the same stupid market okay the same stupid market completely flipped on the other side okay and is involved in all the bad companies all the worthless crypto nfts and stocks that are 
that have future, companies that have something that they're solving, some, and they're selling it off. And, and now I am supposed to guess where these morons are going to send it to. I have no clue, zero clue. I'm not even going to try. That's why I'm playing soccer because I can't argue with this kind of humans, right? Buying crypto to protect themselves against inflation. And now they're telling me that Voxter is worthless because the originations are down. Like, like this, this, this one dude on freaking CEO, the biggest moron on the planet, big mouth, big mouth. And he doesn't even know how Voxter sells its products. He doesn't know if it's on a transaction basis, subscription basis, but he's got a big fucking mouth. This is what we're dealing with. So you asking me how low it can go? I have no idea because I have no idea. I ha I don't have a way of measure stupidity on the upside and on the downside. I simply don't.